Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress with me, the Mucha Mouse. As mentioned in the last episode, we will uh, I think I said we were going to start digging, but we're not. But I also, at the end, clarified that we are going to look at Dwarf Therapist, and we're going to talk a little bit about that before uh, we get into the actual making of the fort. Now, Dwarf Therapist is a separate application to Dwarf Fortress, which connects to your Fortress's save and interacts with the dwarves and the professions and the labors of the for, uh, dwarves, uh, which you can do in-game, but it's terrible compared to doing it in Dwarf Therapist. Now, in the Lazy New Pack under Utilities, you will have Dwarf Therapist here. It says, makes managing your dwarves' jobs and psychology easy. Uh, NB, Dwarf Hack, Auto Labor must be disabled. I don't use Auto Labor or Labor Manager. I don't use Labor Manager because I am a control freak. So we're going to double click that and have Dwarf Therapist come up. And as I mentioned earlier, it looks like a giant spreadsheet, which is basically what it is. Now in here we have a list of our dwarves, all of whom apparently are female. She, 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 she. Wow, that's special. Uh, I don't think I've ever had an embark where I have only one sex of dwarf. But regardless, if you recall from the embark screen, there were, when we looked at dwarves, there was a long list on the right with all of the skills of the dwarves. Uh, which were set to certain levels in something. Th those levels are indicated by numbers here in Dwarf Therapist. Uh, and two of our uh, people were proficient miners, which is a level 5. Uh, the highest you can go is level 20, which is a legendary plus 5 uh, miner. It would be then. And the same is true for any other profession or any other task. Um, which would uh, let them be good at things. Uh, so what we have going on here are basically what can this dwarf do? And if you see here are miners, they can do mining, they can't do carpentry because we haven't had that enabled and they have no experience. We couldn't tell them to do carpentry by just clicking this. We will get a list over here that says we will add carpentry. Uh, and to actually implement that, we're going to have to click the commit over here. So we can keep clicking random things here. Okay, I want this, commit. Or we can just say, ah, no, we don't want that. So you could go through, change all of this, set up however you want. Um, or you could use auto labor. Uh, I don't use auto labor, so I'm not going to show you how to do that because... I prefer this method and think this is the best method to do it. Uh, but what we can do to make this a lot simpler is that you can follow the download link in this video to a file called Custom Professions. And that will give you, once you import that by going into Dwarf Therapist and say Import Custom Professions, you will get this list of professions that I have made. And this is just the way I like to operate the fort. So I want to assign professions to various people. And once we get migrants, I usually just bulk them all together in a group of unassigned workers. And I inspect them in Dwarf Therapist. See what are they good at. And then if they have any particular talents, we will give them jobs like that. And then later on, if we don't really need their talent right now, they'll just be unassigned. And then later when we decide we need a, a, a clothier who makes clothes for us, I will just give him a clothier task, find someone who's good. But what we will do now initially is I am going to set up my people here and take the two miners. I'm going to right click, select customization and do miner. You see that changes a bunch of things. So basically what I'm doing here is that I'm telling my miners that I want them to be professional miners. That's all they're going to do is do mining. So one of them had woodcrafting enabled. He doesn't get to do that. We'll use someone else. Uh, probably our lumberjack here. 
And I also take away a whole lot of these hauling jobs, which you can find on the end here. Because I don't want my miners to run around hauling stuff. We have other dwarves for that. They can carry stuff. The miners should mine. It's uh, the most glorious dwarven profession there is. Digging stone and minerals. So we'll commit to that. Uh, I will also look at, like, this is our carpentry dwarf. I'll set him up to be my carpenter. My carpenter also does wood cutting and wood crafting. Uh, he had diagnosis and feed patient prisoners enabled. I'm going to re-enable diagnosis because I want him to be a doctor as well. Um, this is not a job that he's going to be doing often. It's only if a dwarf gets hurt, he's going to have to do a diagnosis. Uh, and we're going to set him up to be our noble as soon as uh, we get into game. Our noble for chief surgical dwarf. Is that what it's called? Chief medical dwarf, I think it's called. Commit to that. So, uh, this guy, he is good at brewing and cooking and also wood cutting. He won't get to do wood cutting. He's going to be a brewer. A brewer is more important than anything. He's also going to be... No, he's not going to be a cook. I, I redact, retract my statement. He's not going to be a cook. Um, brewing, very, very important for the fortress. It's one of the easiest failure conditions you could have. You might embark as a new player, and uh, or actually fail. Winning conditions is what we would call it in Dwarf Fortress. Having fun. Um, brewing is one of the easiest things to fail at initially, because you can embark like we have now, thinking, "Well, we're near a river, um, and uh, the dwarves can just go over here and drink. Yes, there's fresh water." They gather water, they'll drink, there's even a pond over here. Uh, but no, they won't. There can be all the water in the world and your dwarves will sort of starve to death, sort of not, uh, or dehydrate. Because there's no nothing to drink. Because uh, they drink beer. Uh, and then if they get too sober, they don't get their alcohol, then they go into a tantrum and into a rage, and then they start fighting each other, and goodbye fortress. So we're going to set our brewer up to be a brewer. It's going to be all that he does initially. We'll have to build a workshop for him to actually do it in, but that is one of the first things we're going to do uh, once we start building. Uh, so I'm setting up that. I'm not going to let him cook, because I want a separate cook. And by the time we get uh, the need for doing cooking and have cooking set up, we'll probably have another migrant wave, and hopefully we'll have an adequate cook. Unless we will um, find someone who seems suitable enough to become the cook, and he can be a terrible cook and just train up on the job. Do a lot of on-the-job training in Dwarf Fortress. So, here, next guy. You're our carpenter... Uh, this guy looks like our farmer. Yeah, he has farm. Oh, I'm holding down escape while I'm clicking. It's no wonder it's not working. You, farmer. I'm not going to go through and tell you about all of these things now. Um, I have set these up the way I like them. You can by all means change them. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory what they do is like plant processing, plant gathering. You get that. He processes plants. He gathers plants. Um, he farms. Right? Um, he hauls animals. He doesn't bur bur burrow. He doesn't uh, bury people. Uh, and then our last guy here. You are the hunter. We'll set him up as a hunter. He's going to go out and do hunting. And then our last guy is our stonemason. And I have technically a skill called mason. But I don't need him this early. So he's just going to be an unassigned worker. And the unassigned worker is just sort of a pool of workers that I put dwarfs in. To be multi-purpose dwarf. They do, they do everything. They just make... Uh, 
They make stone things. They detail stone. They smooth walls. They carry stuff. Uh, they burn wood to make charcoal. Uh, and all these things. A lot of jobs that are not directly affected by the skill of the actual labor. Because many things are affected. Like mining speed is affected by the skill of the miner. But other than that, they will eventually get through the mining. Uh, same with smoothing floors, uh, which the mason does, is not really affected other than the speed at which he does it. Um, stone detailing is more intricate because that means he's going to make a better uh, engraving. If you choose to engraving as well as stone crafting means that he's going to be better at making stuff out of stone. What I have... Uh, bleh. But what I have found is that for most everyday items, uh, most dwarves level up quickly enough in stone uh, crafting that you can just let everyone do it, who is an unsigned worker. So that is how we set up Dwarf Therapist, or how I set up Dwarf Therapist at least. We can now sort them by profession, and we will see we have a brewer, a carpenter, a farmer, a hunter, a miner, or two miners, and an unassigned worker. So with that being taken care of, we're just going to minimize that. Go back into Dwarf Fortress. And then next episode, we will start Diggy Diggy Hole. See you next time.